by keeping the tradition of this channel every saturday we do have a food illustration and today we are illustrating my favorite which is cheesecake if it's your favorite as well like this video and also comment down below which type of cheesecake is your favorite for me it's basque cheesecake and the new york style the one which we are currently doing and we are already starting off with screen resolution of 2080 into 2860 and we are using drying brush to outline our and also we are just going to use three tool to bring this entire illustration to life hope you guys will enjoy this and also for all the cheesecake lover comment down below or share me any of your personal recipe which i can try and eat myself and also share it along with you and let's get started we are starting with two of the bed one is the top layer another the side layer because we have just cut this cheesecake and we have a slice to our plate and then i'm adding at the double shade here so the top layer will have lighter tone of color whereas the side layer will have more darker tone of color and also we'll have the edge of the graham crackers which will be in the darker tone of brown and a lighter shade to make it look like a base of the cheesecake we are going to slowly adjust the size of the cheesecake here because i feel like it need to be a little bit more elongated than what i have come with the outline and then now we are doing the base of the cheesecake and we are using blending brush to slowly blend we are starting off with blending the base of the cheesecake to the top and then to the middle bit because i feel like i'm making sure the top and the final the last layer is set we will be happy to smudge around the middle layer and also if you happen to be a subscriber of my weekly newsletter thank you very much and if you are new here we do have a weekly newsletter where i share whatever i have learned in this week through uh, our newsletter subscription which is free of cost and it is coming from my inbox to yours this week i shared on how to be the main character in your life how people's opinion have stopped us from achieving what we actually want to it's one of the things which you actually have to read because even i after writing that i'm like oh my gosh i do also have to implement a lot of things Thing. even though i might be implementing a lot but at the same time sometimes the opinion just wave in our life and then we just stop doing whatever we are loving so anyhow that's for the newsletter and if you have not yet subscribed please make sure to go ahead and subscribe and i'll make sure to leave the link down and also on the cue card now once we are done blending we are moving on to the strawberry layer for strawberry i'm picking up a little darker of the burgundy shade i'm giving it the outline of the strawberry and then i'm filling it with two color one is the main color and also another is the lighter shade in the middle and then we are just going to use our blending brush to slowly blend it across and once we are done blending this i'm just going to slowly as much around the edge as well to make it look like a more realistic but of course this entire illustration i never had in mind that i want to make it look like a realistic cheesecake but at the same time i want to make it look like art and also much more appealing and so that we all consume as someone who is very health freak and also i don't consume a lot of sugar but if i have to have the calorie in my body which it feels okay and also give me endorphin for my body uh, that would definitely be the cheesecake and once we are done i'm going to add the shadow and the highlight i could have added the dots in a separate layer please don't do the mistake just make sure to add a new layer add the tiny bit dot of the uh, fruit on the top layer and then you can add the shadow in the base layer and now i'm going to add a new layer beneath the strawberry layer for a shadow of course this look dark here just make sure that you give a little lighter shade and also we are slowly going to adjust the shadow because i felt like it's just a little bit dark and now we are going to add this tiny dot in strawberry to make it look like a little bit of realistic and also don't worry about the shadow it is too dark we are just going to reduce and erase and now i have added a new layer for the leaf layer i think the strawberries leaf literally look like a hairstyle in it if it is without the leaf it looks so wild <laughs> anyway it finds uh, funny to me every time i pick a strawberry i'm just like oh my gosh you don't have the leaf it looks wild there's nothing wrong being wild and, and then once we are done adding the color i'm going to add highlight using the flu airbrush and then i'm just going to add in the inside and at the edge of the leaf to make it look a little bit more realistic and also if you look on the right side we have multiple layers going around for this make sure you add as many layers as you want that's the basic rule of any digital illustration now i'm going to add the syrup of strawberry here 
and then we are just going to use tattoo inker brush and we are going to add in a way that the sauce has been the syrup has been poured over all the sauce and it is running in our cheesecake yes and now we are in the little bit of a difficult bit here because we are going to add this diagonal line and then a drop along the way so it is not a straight line of syrup pouring over the cheesecake but it is a slight of diagonal and then we are taking a step down with 90 degree all the way i hope that makes sense and also we are going to make it look like a droplet here falling and some more of the sauce poured all the way down also if you want to draw a plate or the saucer for the cheesecake you could have definitely done it but since i don't have that much of time so i thought cheesecake is always the masterpiece so let us give all the time to it and now i'm going to add a lot of shadow and also i'm just going to make sure i use different shade of pink to red here and make it look as realistic as we can even though the target is not to make it realistic but i'm trying my heart so hope you guys have enjoyed this illustration so far make sure to like and also if you're new here thank you very much for stopping by and if you're already my subscriber thank you very much and now i'm using blending brush to slowly blend and smudge this color along the way and while i'm blending i'm also giving the shape and the edge i'm looking in for those syrup pouring all the way in our cheesecake and this is time consuming and these are all in 8x speed so make sure to use your sweet time and also if you guys have happened to hear the new song dropped by rose and bruno mars it's so lit i can't get off my up a child I don't want to have a copyright anyway apt song if you have listened to definitely comment down below and also we are blending in the main bit of the sauce here this was a little bit more consuming for me because it has to look like it is pouring down the cheesecake but at the same time not so time consuming so just make sure you take your sweet time while blending this also i'm making sure that the layer is in a different angle as comfortable as i can so i'm sorry for that all this fiasco i should have kept the screen straight but anyway we are coming at the conclusion of this i hope you are enjoying this illustration once we are done smudging around i'm going to add a new layer uh, for the shadow of the syrup as you can see i'm going to make it as small a size for the tool as we can and then slightly giving the edge for all the syrup being fall across and then we are going to use blending brush to blend it across because i don't want it to look little harsh or more harsh and also i'm going to add shadow for the top layer of the syrup and i'm going to slowly blend for rest of the illustration and we are almost at the end hope you guys have enjoyed this illustration make sure to like share and subscribe on also my humble request we go ahead and subscribe to our newsletter because that's where all the fun is all about and also i'm reading a lot of your comment and your messages of course the festive season is coming ahead so i'm wishing each and every indian subscriber of mine a very happy diwali and see you around in tomorrow's podcast if you are not a subscriber you are missing something big because every sunday we have a weekly podcast from our channel where we talk about art of life in different way and format last week it was our uh, the art of persistence and how we can be persistent in pursuing our desire our passion and uh, become the unforgettable being of who we are created hope you guys have been a part of this entire illustration thank you very much see you all tomorrow till then enjoy your life life is too short to be worried see you all bye bye